transferred to us from the cluster version. Oh Lord, you are a lover of justice. You seek equality, equity, and have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. We pray for this great God's awesome name. We come to worship you.
just as the cloud overshadowed the disciples in the transfiguration story and they heard a voice say that Jesus is the beloved of God. So we are the people. Be forgiven and be restored to our right standing, to our right standing as God's beloved. Amen. Now let us extend the peace of Christ to one another using sign language, and we do this by making a circular motion for peace, and then this is the symbol for Christ, and then to be with you all. So we'll put that together. May the peace said to Moses, come up to me on the mountain and wait there, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandment, which I have written for their instruction. So Moses set out with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up to the mountain of God. To the elders he would say, wait here for us until we come to you again, for Aaron and Hur are with you. Whoever has a dispute may go to them. Then Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day, he called, called to Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like a devouring fire on the top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord, let, the Lord is king. Let the people turn. For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we have been eyewitnesses of his majesty, for he received honor and glory from God the Father when that voice was conveyed to him by the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. So we have the prophetic message more fully confirmed. You will do well to be attentive to this as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the mountain star rises in your hearts. 
First of all, you must understand this, that no prophecy of scripture is a matter of one's own interpretation, because no prophecy ever came by human will, but men and women moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. This too is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just with I S A B E L. She didn't spell it with L. 
And then Tommy and Randy and Eric. She said that. So I said I need to say. She says, Lori, if you're going to give Valentine's at school, you have to give one to everyone. And I thought about that and I thought, okay, well that's that's all right. Except there was Troy. <laughs> I said, Mama, I said, I'm okay with giving it to everybody but Troy. She said, why don't you give a Valentine's to Troy? I said, because he has cooties. <laughs> and she said, cooties?